all of you, friends, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure and privilege in welcoming all of you to the GII Global Innovation Index Technical Meeting with key government agencies involved in innovation data generation and collection. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity in extending my warmest regards in behalf of the entire scientific uh, community. I am grateful to all of you for accepting our invitation to be a part of this gathering in discussing the overview of the Global Innovation Index, particularly on the methodology, on the data sources, data collection, particularly on innovation input, output, and the sub-indices. This technical meeting today creates a great opportunity in bringing together government heads and experts to discuss key issues, challenges, and opportunities in areas that are critical to further improvement of the Philippine ranking in the next uh, Global Innovation Index. Uh, we had always been uh, happy to announce that uh, in 2019, we uh, rose from rank 73 to rank uh, 54, uh, which was we, we considered to be a very, very uh, big achievement. For everyone's information, the GII uh, provides a summary of where an economy stands in innovation as a reference for the creation of innovation policies or amendments that promotes a synergistic relationship among the government, industry, as well as the academe gearing towards uh, long-term growth, sustainable productivity, including employment uh, opportunities. Moreover, the GII helps in crafting an innovative ecosystem with a tangible measure through a comprehensive set of tools and applications for factors and risks that greatly affect economies through innovation and uh, technologies. We are very fortunate to have experts from the WIPO as they help us examine and understand the processes involved in arriving at the comprehensive data of the 129 economies that participate uh, to this GII in terms of innovation. We will learn about WIPO's role with respect to the efforts of the Philippines as far as innovation and innovation policies are concerned. Uh, we uh, well, maybe we should um, mention that the GII is a collaboration between the WIPO uh, in Seyan and uh, Cornell uh, University. I'm fortunate, okay, that uh, today we have uh, a guest uh, whom, with whom I have worked closely in the past. Uh, you know, Ambassador Ivan Garcia was the already the ambassador at the U U U Philippine Mission in Geneva when I, when I got elected as chair of the UN Commission on Science and Technology for Development. So it was the team at Geneva who helped me uh, to get that the chairmanship. Uh, and of course, I have also worked with uh, uh, Director Andrew Ong. Uh, we were, uh, some of you were already there when we were drafting the Technology Transfer Act, which was passed in 2009. Between that time and uh, today, we have already additional pieces of legislation, like uh, recently we have the Innovative Startup Act, and we have the Innovation uh, Act, okay? And uh, of course, uh, uh, together with uh, uh, the previous uh, pieces of legislation, these are helping us in having a better environment for innovation. The continued, the combined effort of various government agencies, the academic and the private sector in advancing the national innovation system, which we called Philippine Innovation way, way back in 2007, where DOST was at the helm for 10 years. DOST passed the baton to DPI 10 years later. So in June 2017, uh, DOST, the Department of Trade and Industry, the National Economic Development Authority, the Department of Education, CHED, DA, and DICT signed a Memorandum of Understanding to jointly formulate and implement the Innovation Roadmap. And I'm happy that all of them will be participating today. One of the objectives of that uh, Memorandum of uh, Understanding is to revive and reconstitute the Philippine Innovation Council that will serve as a central coordinating mechanism of innovation and entrepreneur policies and uh, 
uh, the static is not, uh, that one is already overtaken, I think, with the passage of the Innovation Act, which uh, clearly identifies the roles of the different agencies. Uh, so in coordination with uh, that uh, new, newly uh, created uh, uh, council, each member agency will now be responsible for aspects of the ecosystem that are within their purview. An example of the whole of government approach in innovation is the harmonized national research and development agenda. Uh, this is uh, being adopted uh, for the entire duration of uh, an administration. So we have uh, a national R&D agenda, harmonized R&D agenda for the period 2017 to 2022. And it was formulated to develop a sustainable economy founded on inclusive growth and high trust society where all of the scientific stakeholders can participate and benefit from innovative endeavors. And uh, these uh, uh, stakeholders include our entrepreneurs, our startups, our small and medium enterprises. Uh, you will be pleasantly so surprised to see that uh, uh, our SMEs have actually developed their own innovations okay? uh, uh, so, uh, in, in, in operating their uh, businesses. Today's meeting provides a catalyst for broad exchange of expertise and experiences to create innovation frameworks and tools, national support systems for innovation, and government and industry collaborations to fulfill an innovative uh, ecosystem. I forgot that we should have invited uh, uh, was it IDRC to finance our first innovation survey. IDRC on planet. So, so that was very back in 2010. And that was the very first survey which we conducted on innovation. Uh, we look forward to the panel discussions that will take place today uh, involving our uh, uh, department secretaries and their representatives in uh, future cooperation on improving innovation and innovation policy performance of our country, particularly as measured by the GII. Sometimes uh, uh, we have a tendency to uh, you know, uh, avoid the rankings. <laughs> particularly if we are always low. <laughs> but, but we cannot uh, avoid it and uh, therefore we have to uh, face it okay, squarely. We are delighted with the 2019 GII ranking of the Philippines and uh, we are already in the top, uh, I would say it says here in my note 50%, but actually 42% already. We are already in the top 42% and we hope to sustain our efforts and move further. I have my own target, which is to move to top 33% up to 2022. And uh, we are very optimistic that today's meeting will strengthen our commitments to an innovative uh, Philippines. Thank you for joining us today and may we have a very fruitful discussion. Mabuhay at maraming salamat.